1,200 miles to the east, the eastern group vessels and planes are exploring the mysterious Phantom Coast. Aboard the destroyer Bronson, the commander of the eastern group, Captain George Dufek, makes an exploration voyage. He sails close in to Mount Erebus, 14,000 feet above the sea. It is the only known active volcano near the South Pole. Captain Dufek, his mission accomplished, returns to rendezvous with the seaplane tender Pine Island. Personnel transfers to the destroyer must be made by breaches buoy because of rough seas. This officer would probably prefer a boat. The deep roll and the destroyer's outward flaring bow force the handling crew to wait for the exact moment to haul inboard, lest the man be dashed against the ship's side and killed. It is Captain Dufek's turn next. The line is set higher. The seas run stronger. The ships roll dangerously apart. The line slacks, then snaps taut, and breaks. A 50-foot plunge downward. Dufek disappears. Away, rifle! Men jump to stations. Lower away. Hurry, hurry. Eight minutes in this icy water means death. Speed is the only hope. The boat shears clear. Heads out fast to the rescue. Captain Dufek reappears. He has managed to inflate his life jacket. Seven minutes gone. Dufek grabs the lifeline. The seaman clutches him. By a margin of seconds, he is saved. 1,500 miles west of Little America, the Currituck and her western group are off the Shackleton Ice Shelf, circling the Sunset Coast. 